I understand that before the Emmett Till event, the president met, the president met privately with Reverend uh, Parker, who is Emmett Till. He was the gentleman who everyone saw at, at the signing of the proclamation. This is Emmett Till's cousin, who is the last living eyewitness to, to the abduction. Could, could you fill me in a little bit about what this meeting in the overall office, if, if you have some details about this? Yeah, and you heard from you heard from him directly right before the president spoke. He uh, he relived that horrific uh, day, uh, and uh, talked about his personal relationship. Yes, he was his cousin, but they were also very close. Uh, they had a close relationship, uh, and it's obviously a horrific story and something that's uh, devastating to have to live with all these decades. Uh, I was actually in the Oval Office uh, when they when the president greeted them. Uh, they uh, have uh, have had conversations before. Uh, it was, um, you know, it was an acknowledgement of the day. Uh, it was an important moment, clearly, for uh, Emma Till's family uh, that the president acknowledged. Uh, but, you know, you saw that play out for yourselves uh, when the president spoke, when the vice president spoke, uh, and when the pastor spoke himself. Uh, you saw you saw from the president, uh, you heard from the president, he gave an incredibly powerful speech, a heartfelt speech about what this day means to the family and what this day means to and should mean for the entire country.